Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Celtic v Falkirk match reaction or reaction guys if you're watching it on YouTube, if you're watching it live on Twitch, it is a watch along live. Please uh, subscribe and like if you're watching it on of course YouTube and if you're watching it live on Twitch please follow. So um it is eleven pa ten minutes past seven so not long to kick off actually, so I'm just getting the game up actually now. So it's on Premier Sports guys. <laughs> um it's Gordon Stratton, Alan Stubbs and Michael Stewart. Oh, that's the people are on it. <laughs> Bit mad eh? <laughs> right. Um, and now our results today guys, um of the Scottish Cup third round, it's Ross Ross County get beat 3 1 in that derby of the Scottish Cup. Aberdeen beat them Barton at 1 0. Um, Dundee no St Johnston one, Lumsden two, Rayfors one, Air nil, Clyde one, East Fife one, Green Morton two, and that's after extra time. Stennis Muir nil, Kermanet four, Four Rangers one, Stranjar three. That's extra. Um, that's after extra time. Four for two, Edinburgh City two, four three to four for on penalties. Um, Hamilton nil, St Mary three, for Martin Yate nil, Millwall five. Fraserburgh FC 2, Montrose 4, Dundee United 2, Party Thistle 1, and the tonight's fixture, guys, is a Celtic, of course, versus Falkirk. Um, uh, tomorrow night's game is Rangers versus Cove Rangers, and Monday night's game is Queen of the South take on Hibs. So, interesting games to come for the Scottish Cup. Also, I'm only doing Celtic ones, so. Celtic ones and Scottish watch longs, so that's all I'm doing. So. First game after that national break. It's good to have football back, you know. Um, league football, I say league cup, any foot, you know. And national football's alright, but it's not really better than like, your your teams, you know. So tonight, starting lineup for um, defending the, the the Scottish Cup guys is uh, Scott Bain, Scott Brown, Lee Griffiths, David Turnbull. Come <coughs> best one of the best players Turnbull has season got to be. Um, John Joe Kenny, Ryan Christie, Tom Rogic, Christopher Ayer, James Foyer starts, um, uh, so does Stephen Welsh and Diego Laxalk for the first time a wee while, Diego Laxalk starting on the bench is Vasilis Barkas, Greg Taylor, Shane Duffy, Albin Ayete, Ismail Soro, Odson Edward, um, Mohamed Ayunusi, Cal McGregor and Anthony Rawson. That's the bench and that is the starting lineup against Falkirk. Um, So, um, Celtic are playing a 4 2 3 1. If anyone was interested in that sort of thing, we're playing a 4 2 3 1. So, we are obviously defending the Scottish Cup because we, <coughs> we uh, obviously won the quadruple treble back in November. So, it's one of the things, positives you could maybe get out of this season if you're, of course, if you win, of course. What's happened here? Why is it on a break? Ah, right, so that was a glitch there in the Premier Sports. Go watch out that. Um, for Falkirk, is a, they're playing a 4 3 3 in goal. It's Mooch, a back for a Mercer, McClelland, uh, Devonet, and Miller. Um, in a free midfield, a Francis Leach and Nel Nielsen. And a free up front of Thorinham. Oh my god. Um, Salmon from uh, Mullerwell, remember him, if you're Mullerwell fans, Scottish people out there, used to play for Mullerwell striker, and Dodd, so let's say, on the right hand side. So Celtic, look, the, yeah, it's a 4 2 3 1, that's a good back line. You got your John Joe Kenny, your Welsh, your Ayo, that, that's all. Again, I got, it's a die, it's a, yeah, it's a die. I'm, I'm no use to a bloody a 4 2 3 1, I'm no use to saying like, um, is that a diamond or not? But Lee Griffiths stand up front. Uh, of course, it's a Scottish Cup game, so you'd think you would start that. Um, but, as I say, it's still going to be tough, I tell you what, it's still going to be tough. Even though it's it's a lower opposition, it's still going to be tough. You know, Falkirk are sitting in, um, you go to the league table, they play in. 
well, it would be good to know Falker's position, but Google just doesn't want it. Thank you. Uh, they sit first in League One. If you look at this table, yep, they sit first. They lost a lot. The last five games have won two, drawn two, and lost one. Um, they won't have a ten person team in the Scottish League One. Um, so, Falkirk will go for it, of course, like any other course team will. So, but hopefully we can just get through and all that stuff. Um, I'm buzzing, honestly, I'm really excited to see Eddie Howe um, coming. Mm, quinder, fingers crossed, mm, I can't get the word out. Fingers crossed, it's um, it's the first thing on Monday morning we hear out of Celtic Park. That we hear that Eddie Howe's been announced, which will be great. You seen all the rumours and all that stuff um, of, you know, um, you know, apparently Eddie Howe's Eddie Howe in the the van. So, um, interesting stuff. You know, apparently he's greed on the personal stuff, like the the top, the money stuff, and all that stuff. Just got to get that. Just get it done. Just get it done, Celtic. We just need. To. <laughs> Hopefully get it done by first thing in Monday morning. That will be a positive this season. <laughs> um, get him in. Get the players who want. Before he took it, takes it. I understand. Pe but it was perfect that he said, "I want to bring. I want so much money to bring in my own staff and technical staff." That Liam Neil and that he just jumped at it and took it. And then he said, "I I will accept the job, but I want my, my own um, backroom staff and all that stuff in." It's good to see Celtic agree with that because. Um, that's basically what uh, Brendan Rodgers, it seems sort of kind of, you would say, like, deal sort of thing, you know. It would be good to see. Obviously, you can't have fans say, you know, welcome to the boss in, but definitely next season it'll be great next season to see Eddie Howe, what he's going to do. You, you need that sort of manager, really, to be honest, to fight back with Gerard side this uh, next season, the way Rangers are going. So, just gives me flashbacks of the Ross County. I'm, I'm telling you. It just gives me black, like when you're on Premier Sports, just because you flashback to when we beat we got beat two and a half for us counting the Betfred Cup. That was embarrassing. I gave a stupid penalty away in the first half and then oh my god, the second goal. Whew. So I'm just waiting on uh, the kick off course guys, which is in seven minutes time. Might have shutting up Stephen. So, just get my YouTube check. Please subscribe, guys. We hit um, 1.2. So, yeah, recent, recent videos up on the channel about talking about in vast talks with Eddie which is good. I uh, already great views on it as well. So, hit that on YouTube while you can. Hear that. Um, Might need to get like the team one up, guys. Uh, yeah, I might need to get rid of the team one up, guys. Yeah, I'm gonna have to delete it. Right. We can change that for. Chat box. Yeah, right. Yeah, it's just like the copyright issues and all that stuff. Um, I don't know some reason. Just Copyright stuff for me, I don't know why, but anywho. Anywho.
the shamp and sip and hum. Shamp and sip and hum. In the sky. Bam, 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 bam. Obviously, guys, if I, if I could, then copyright issues weren't that bad. I would obviously put up the, the game so we could all watch together, but, you know, it's just not, it is not possible. It is not, it's just not possible, guys. It's not just possible. So, make sure audio is already. Yeah, Mike's fine, that's stuff, right. <laughs> My top match is in with it. <laughs> oh, God. Text, right. Move it over to there. Scroll. Scottish Cup third round. Welcome to the stream, guys. Welcome, welcome. So we're going to start. Um, we're already started, of course. Um, please follow, guys. If you um, please follow, guys. If you're watching it, I record it at the same time. So please subscribe. If you're watching the action on YouTube, it's now seven. I will quickly show you that. So welcome. If you're just coming into the stream. And game out, it shouldn't be that bad. Right, anyway, look, look, watch this, right, so... Why is my ca Oh, my camera's all messed up. Right, right that'll have to do, right. Two seconds, right. Right, this is it, yeah, guys. Hit that subscribe button. Obviously, I'm the new one, so I can't subscribe to my own channel, right? But look at that, so we've got the recent video up, guys. Please watch it, like, and subscribe, as I say. Yeah, um, let's get back to the game, though. It's all about the game. Right. So, kick off is five minutes away, guys. Five minutes. So, yeah. Do I have a light box and I don't? Damn. Um, oh, yeah. Right. Also, guys, if you comment in chat, I'll show you, for example, if you go. Just hi. Wait. Where's the live chat? Oh, it's there, right? Okay, so I need to move it up there. There, and then let me just test it again, guys. <coughs> Follow and. Oh! Oh no! Hello! Away. Yeah, guys, check the stream out. Um, can get 100 followers in by the end of the the watch along, which should be good.
Right. Let's get started. Kickoff is coming, guys. So, as we hit into the kickoff, guys, please, please follow me, that guys. Guys, let's just switch over there. Go on, Celtic, go on. Go on. Celtic are, well, weird what they've done in Premier, I thought they were playing a 4 2 but... So... Come on, sell it, come on. Sell it, come on. Come on. What do you mean? Streamlabs, I don't understand that. Streamlabs, but anyway. Right, come on. and it will be offside from Lee Griffiths there. So, come on, Salad, come on. Get an early goal, and that wee's an airs, right? To the keeper Bain. Over to Christopher Fry back over to 
Welsh. Out to Jean Kenny to oh, for God's sake, we can't pass a bloody ball. I mean that, that I mean that's the simple passing and you're getting beat by bl oh my bl Goodbye Brown there. And we'll go back to the keeper bain. Right. What well, if I was to say what we're lining so far in the game, you still can't we still can't pass the ball from two feet, two yards, sorry. So come on. See. Go forward. Brown obviously this is his last Scottish Cup run for Celtic and uh well, Celtic Jazz of course, he's moving to Aberdeen, which is disappointing that I've got to play for a sell it throw in. Commentators must be hearing me because I tell you what. It's a good pitch out there, good, good conditions. So, there's no excuses. Ayer, out wide. Lacks out, we'll go back to Welsh. I'm glad he's not picked Duffy, I know what a logic now. I'll get back on that talk about Duffy in a minute. Oh, I forgot. Oh, I'll just get back on it now because Celtic give it away and it went for a. No, never mind, they didn't go up for a throw, and Welsh has it. It does well to get it to Brown, well done. Uh, I was also saying about Duffy there. Um, yeah, he's just got to go back to Brighton and focus there, really. Yeah, don't see him coming back up again, but yeah. They're just going to sit back, Falkirk, and wait for their chance on the break. Oh, that's what every team has done this season, to be honest. So, here goes Forrest. Rogic. John Joe Kenny, Turnbull, back to Kenny again, Kenny will pass it to Turnbull, Turnbull will turn the plate, he'll, oh, mm. at least Turnbull's trying something but it's not good, I mean that's a good tackle from Kenny but it didn't get anywhere, Welsh struggles there, no, but Ayers there and he'll go back to Bain, first three and a three. 40 seconds gone, still Celtic nil, Falkirk nil. You know, obviously international shoot as well, but you can't really have that excuse. Well, I mean, you technically you can, but you've made the changes, so, you know. I mean, I just played for Norway, Welsh isn't, I don't like the Welsh, she's played on national duty, like under 21 under that, but. Here's Kenny. Here's Kenny. Oh, wait, Forrest now first, that start for Forrest. Oh, it's good play, Forrest! Over, oh, obviously he never got his, he came on against Dundee United, obviously, that's his first start, I was, I was very, very good play from Forrester, crossover again, he's offside surely, well, and it never mattered anyway, it was Laxill, um, I think he was offside, but that was a cross, but yeah, it wasn't really good enough, there, we'll look at this here from Rogic, yeah, Lacks out. He looks offside. Yeah, they're rolling. I think if he was ahead of it, I don't. He actually touched it. So, yeah. Oh, for God's sake! Brown gets it. Ayer Brown. No, it's to Jonjo Kenny. I don't want to go for Jonjo. <laughs> Here comes Forrest now. Turnbull. Oh, it's just a bit too heavy for Forrest. Oh my god, Welsh. That's a foul. For God's sake, man. Ah, Welsh, man. There's a foul, free kick to Falkirk. It's not in a good position, but they will cross it in, which will make it dangerous. It's a stupid free kick away. I mean, I mean you, you don't really want to give it away, but... Then again, you might say Falkirk on attack, so it might be tactical, but, hey, well, it's a foul, foul anyway by Welsh. Yeah, they're going to send it in. Like every team has done. They've got Connor Salmon, used to play for Mullerwell, Mullerwell striker. Aye. I'm taking it short. And it's Salmon. Don't gear a corner away, Celtic man, whatever you do. Good from a, a striker's defending well, it's brilliant. 
Come on, pass it like salt. But, oh, for God's sake, man. Like salt, man. You got it slowed in the pace. We got it. We still got it, but that wasn't the good there. <laughs> I mean, it was a waste of free kick from Falkirk. I would have, if I was a manager, I'd be shooting at him. Oh, for God's sake, Celtic, don't. Why are we giving the ball away? It's Falkirk. They bloody work part time for I don't. I, I don't know. Some of them work part time as a postman. We're professional footballers for the Premiership, the highest tape league in Scotland. And we're passing the ball like a load of numpties. Turnbull. That's a good ball, Turnbull out wide. Come on. Forrest. Griffiths, come on, Griffiths. You should. Griff I mean, the keeper does well to come out ahead of Griffiths, but it was decent in that left hand side. I don't know why Forrest is there. He's switching his. Must be a tactic or something. Forrest is actually out in that left hand side. I mean, he's a right winger. It deflects across, and yeah, the keeper's going to get there every day of the week. But, yeah, Laxal. Mm. See, if you watch my TLS video, guys, on YouTube, you know, seven. Um, Turnbull, it's a good play. Um, I'll, I'll explain more there if you go and watch that out. Check that out after the stream. Here comes Celtic now in right hand side. Forrest, crossover. Oh, for God's sake, man. Oh, it'll go to Lax out. Brown. Christie now. Rogic. Rogic's going to shoot. He shoots, and it's bloody in. Rosette. Might have known, Rogic. Might have known. Eight minutes gone, still Celtic nil, Falkirk nil. Not a shot on target, it was a shot, but it was going nowhere near the, tar the target. As I say again, thank God there's no fans in the crowd, or else it would have hit somebody right in the face. I mean, it's good at that range, you know, the colours against like, the St Mirren game, that was a good one back in uh, February, but that wasn't a good one. Oh, no, 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 not Welsh yet. Just play it safe, play it, jeez, oh, John Joe Kenny at. Didn't know you were going to do pal. Brown now. Back out way to Kenny. Also, guys, we'll talk at half time about also the half time analysis and all that stuff. So. I don't record it because then it's a bit more longer video, but. I'll see, I'll see, I'll see. Here comes Wide now to Rogic. Uh, Kenny saw it. Rogic. That's good play. He's not offside. Forrest. Oh! It's cleared. Lax out. No, Turnbull, sorry. Kenny. Eh, hey, Welsh. Back to Ke uh, Kenny now. It's a bit confusing. The, 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 the way they get this cameraman money is hopeless. Right, here comes Ayer. So it's some hopeless. Brown. They're just they're sitting back like, like any other low. Well, I say the low team, like, not really, to be honest. We were really the low team this season. I'm surprised we, this, we actually finished second in the league this season, but anyway. Just come on. Get an early goal. Get an early goal. Turnbull. Why did you pass that? Who was that? Rogic. You were in the box. Oh my god, man. Why did you pass that, Rogic? We're in the box. Turnbull. Somebody at it. Turnbull. Oh, what a save. Good save from the keeper. And that was a good shot from David Turnbull. Very good shot. Unlucky not to go in. Ten minutes gone. It's a lovely shot from the edge of the box. Forrest to Turnbull there. Beats one man of Falkirk there and shoots. That's a good save. It's a good strike. Goes through the legs of the Falkirk player and it, it's a good save from the keeper in the end. But that's a chance for Celtic. Celtic with a corner though. Can we do it from corners? I don't think we can. I think we're a bit like Scotland. A bit like we just give a foul away. Oh, took it short, for God's sake. Turnbull, shoot! Oh, you mouse, he missed it! He's missed it! I don't believe it. He's bloody missed it. How do you miss that, Griffiths? It's stuff off the training ground and you miss it. How do you miss that? Oh my God, Griffiths, I thought it was a goal. I was about to say, in the history of short corners, it doesn't work. That was about to put my words to bed. But it just proves it there, Griffiths just, oh my god, Griffiths, man. It, oh, god almighty. Don't know how he's missed it. That was a big chance. 
Rogic now does brilliant there with his feet work. Sets through Griffiths again. Here comes Griffiths. Back to Forrest. Oh, the keeper does well again. Deny. Uh, it was going back to Rogic and it will be a Celtic throw on the far side. Now Celtic are getting their stride about. That's more like it, Celtic. It's a great pass from Rogic. Great feet work as well. Forrest there. Yeah, the keeper does well to deny. It was going back to Rogic, but keeper does well there. That's Celtic's for one. Axel, all the throw in. Gonna go to back to Scott Bain over. Where you go? You go to Christopher Ayer. Ayer over to his defensive partner Welsh. Over to John Joe Kane in the right hand side. Yeah, my right, right hand side. Yeah, my right. <laughs> I mean, no, that's just rubbish, rubbish, absolute rubbish. Oh yeah, big, you know, it's sad to see Claude, you know, the guy off a um, Arsenal fan TV to die, a bit of shame on that. Got to pay respects, man, he was absolutely, he was a legend on the show. That's just how mental health gets you, you know, he's just got to want, he's got to watch people, man, like, he's got to watch for that. Yeah, yeah, bit of shame on that. But yeah. I'll go back to Falkirk's keeper. Ooh, please, Celtic, just get a goal so we can say something about the game because I mean we've had our chance. But if you want to, guys, on YouTube, like I, don't, I normally do, like a free things with and or a reaction. So if Celtic are playing and I have the chance to do a live stream, I'll do that instead of a free things with video. Right, because I'll explain the, the what we've learned throughout the live stream, of course, and then put it on YouTube. So yeah, and the fog got thrown yet. So that's why fog got thrown. So to just get it back for the love of God. Oh man, we're just moving down the right hand side for Falkirk. They're just getting another thrown yet. So yeah, that man John Kennedy they won't be in the charge for a minute much longer. Eddie, how get him in now? Hopefully, fingers crossed. I said at the start of the stream. Monday morning, first news we see at a Celtic Park. And the first man we see in Celtic Park, you know. <laughs> Eddie Howe. I forgot. Uh, I thought it was a bit of court, Falkirk corner, but he came off that Falkirk player last, so it will be a goal kick to Celtic. Welsh now over to Tista Fryer. Welsh now running out wide to Kenny. That's good feet work. I don't know where it was from, but it was good feet work. Backs out. Couldn't get there, and it will go back to Ayer. Welsh, Kenny, Forrest back to Kenny, good link up play, Kenny, oh for god sake, Kenny's touch is worse than an elephant's touch, oh god, Lax out, Kenny, Brown, over the top, tries to go over the top of Forrest, but just Falkirk gets there first. And it's cleared up. But Welsh kicks on to Brown, chess on to Kenny. Turnbull, good play from Celtic, fast tempo play here. Now it's to Christie, out to Laxal. Back into Christie. Welsh to Rogic now. Who will pass over to 
Christy, don't shoot, Christy. Christy, don't shoot. I, oh my god, Christy. You're just making your statistics even worse, man. Like I said. <laughs> oh my days, man. No wonder John Kennedy's just sitting down because it was, it wasn't, it, he thought he was going to hit the ball. Because Christy, that was nowhere near on target. It was a shot, but we still not had a shot on target. So, there you go. Best shot, oh we actually had a better turn on target, sorry guys. The best shot on target we've had in the side 16 minutes of the game has been Turnbull shot. They went over a corner, it was a good one. But that was it. Scottish Cup's the only thing we can get the pause out of this season, obviously Eddie Howe as well, but out of this season a total. Yeah, Scottish Cup, that's it. Got Wax out. Take your I don't know a free kick to Celtic there. Slice. I mean, that's a. I mean, I mean, it's slight, but we we'll take the free kick. Welsh. Kenny. Rogic. Over to Ayers, lovely chest control from Ayers, now he moves forward, nice pace on him, what's he going to do, Ayers still running, Christie cross in, heads clear, Rogic, still has it, Kenny, Forrest, oh it's rubbish, rubbish, fuck Kenny does a good tackle, Rogic, oh my god Forrest, what are you doing, just have a shot. 18 minutes gone, it's still no no. Oh, no wonder people all will can't watch it because we're playing rubbish. That was rubbish there yeah, anyway, that was a load of rubbish. That was a load of rubbish that was there. Yeah. That was a load of rubbish there yeah, from that shot. That chance it'll go back to being there. Comfortable for Celtic. I mean, it's, we've been comfortable, but we've just not had a goal. We need a goal to settle us. You know, we've had this fast tempo, I mean, it's a great play we've had, but we need the goal. Welsh, what? I mean, Griffiths, it works off, I oh, know, no, I mean, it doesn't work off for Griffiths, never mind. Brown, Brown, got to give it to Brown there, St stood up there and got the tackle done. And it goes out to Griffiths, and to Christie, Turnbull, over to Rogic. Rogic over to Christie, Lax out, Christie, still Christie, over to Griffiths, for the for God's sake man, oh no folk have it in the, oh now I mean Welsh, good, to, well, good there from Welsh, uh, now Kenny, Forrest now, Rogic, Eyes up. I mean, the back, the ball was in the back of the net before us, but it won't count. It's good moving, as they say, but he's on side. He's on side a mile. That's a joke. He's on side a mile. Control from Forrest and he plays it to Kenny. Back to Welsh. Brown. 20 minutes gone, still goalless. Turnbull plays a nice ball to Ayer. Ayer moving up the field, up the pitch now. Good play, go on Ayer. Turnbull. Go on. Christie still has it. Turns back to Ayer. I'm going on, Ayer, go on. Rogic. Way way to Forrest. Forrest. Griffiths, he miss hits it. Still Griffiths. Still Griffiths. Christine, he hits it over. Not even on target. Ugh. We still kind of get a goal. Which is annoying. That's the annoying thing. 
Griffiths misses it the first time, still has it, can't get the shot away, falls to Christie and he just hits it over the bar. Turnbull intercepts, go on Turnbull, go on, go on, get the good pass away, go on Turnbull, Turnbull, oh, that was great strength from Turnbull to show that strength to fight off him Falkirk players and then have a shot at goal and it deflects wide, there will be a corner to sell to us, beautiful strength, we'll see it here, yeah, deflects off that guy's boot, or else it was going either on goal, at least a shot on target it was, but it goes out for a corner kick to Celtic, it's taken short by Turnbull, Christie, cross, oh my god, oh my god man, why would you take a short corner, that's a, one of the worst corners I've seen in, Max out, oh, never mind. I will have to fight this one. No, 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 no. Yes, well, and I are brilliant. Brilliant air from Ayer, absolutely brilliant. It's put up, booted up the park, try it again for us, but it'll go back to the keeper. He'll throw it out. Well, she's out of brown. Brown has it to Rogic, back to Welsh, or to Ayer, Christie, away to Laxal, Turnbull, nice ball over to Kenny, Forrest, back to Kenny, Turnbull, Over to Christie, out wide to Laxal, he crosses it in, Griffiths heads on the wrong way though, Kenny, Rogic, Forrest, shoot, oh it's blocked, Griffiths, hit it, one he's hit it, oh Laxal's a shot and it's straight to goal, load of rubbish, absolute load of rubbish, 24 minutes gone, it's still now now. For I don't know how it's not a goal. Um, we've not scored. That was a strike from Forrest, and it falls to Griffiths, right? Let's look at it. Is it a penalty? Right. Stonewall penalty there. Stonewall penalty there. Ref's not giving it. He's looking at it. Stonewaller. I understand you play advantage, ref, but we never got. Well, I mean, yeah. <laughs> we never really got the advantage. We never scored. <laughs> I've drawn the penalty and all that for nothing. Kenny, over to Ayer, Turnbull, nice touch, sets him up, Turnbull, oh it's blocked, and it'll go out for a corner kick to Celtic, come on Celtic, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on Celtic, come on, it's a stonewall apparently, I'll tell you what, lucky there. Turnbull will take the corner for Celtic. Lovely cross in. Can he make in? Griffiths. Oh, he doesn't get there. Christie does, and it's it's blocked. What? Oh, it's cleared in the end by Falkirk. Ayer, like a Laxalt heads on. Welsh heads it straight to Falkirk. And they boot it up the park, and it goes back to B. So, right now, one of the worst stories you can in bloody school, man, it just goes on and on and on. Because that's the way it is, man. Like, we're going forward and on and forward, but we just can't get the goal. We just can't get that goal, which we need. We've had chances, but chances don't make... Oh, chances aren't goals. Welsh. Christie. Brown. Back to Christie. Over to Ayer. Turnbull, 
Brown. Christie. Turnbull 1 2. Chris back to Christie. Ayer. Rogic. Laxalt. Griffiths. What the? I mean, I'll say that about that Falkirk clearance as well. Laxalt tries to get on the end of it. Somebody gets. Oh my. It's cleared. I, Welsh heads on, but Falkirk. Nope. I mean, Kenny has a. Oh, yeah. That could, have been a, that could have been a sore in there, but now I mean, it turned into a, nothing there. And Falkirk have it. And it'll go. Now I mean, Falkirk will kick it right out the park and it'll be a Celtic pro. Like so. Welsh. Christy. Oh, for God's sake, Christy, you can't pass it. I just get megged by a Falkirk player. I go on, Christy, just ruin your career there. Yeah, that's it. Done. Done, Dusty, there. Absolute done. Celtic throw on. Forrest takes it quick to Turnbull. Make something out this end. Turnbull. Rogic. Pass it back. Oh, Rogic. Out wide to Griffiths. Oh, I nearly falls to Turnbull. And he gets cleared again from Falkirk. And it falls to Brown. Christie now, out wide to Forrest. Forrest, what will we do? He cuts inside. Rogic turns, shoots his block. Christie shoots. And it's over the bar. And it's another chance for Celtic, which is not taken once again. Still no real. I don't know what Christie was thinking there, to be honest. Try to chip the keeper and I don't know. That's not really a good shot. I mean, the keeper I think really has got it covered, to be honest. So, not really. Uh, wax out. Falls to Brown. Kenny now. 28 minutes and 45 seconds gone. It's still goes, as I say. Iron out. Give us a goal. Ooh, give us a goal, Celtic. Wax out. Crosses it over. Finds no one. Heads over. Out for a corner. <laughs> and it'll be a Celtic corner in the, the right hand at the side. So Turnbull will take this corner. Please don't take it quick, Turnbull. Unless it's like last time and somebody actually puts it in the back of the night. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want Ayer to get on end of it. Anybody, any, anybody just get on it. Turnbull cross in. Falkirk player gets on end of it. Surprise. That's a foul. That was a foul there, but okay. Turnbull cross over. Finds Ayer. He'll go to, nope, does nice, nice footwork again from Christopher Ayer, Christopher Ayer, oh, you, oh, lucky Falkirk player got anyway, a Turnbull, there else was a goal to Celtic there, great from Ayer there, Welsh to Laxalt now, Laxalt will get, nope, yep, he won the corner for Celtic, come on, come on Celtic, come on, Um, you know, the passing's been great. I like Ayer's moment there. We've had great moments in the game so far. We've not, we've not put it to use. We need to put it to use or else nothing's going to happen. Turnbull, another cross in. Where is everybody? No, we went for another corner, but where, where did everybody go there for Celtic? You know, it was just all folk out there. Where did it go? I, I'm, I'm surprised. Where did they go? Where's Celtic players? That should be a new book. <laughs> If it's not I do it from this season anyway, except from a couple of players who have Turnbull higher, but that's that. Turnbull, don't take a shot. Right, Turnbull. Cross in again. It's a great cross in again, but nobody's there. And Christy misjudges it, so Falkirk, no, okay. Christy actually has it, because Falkirk, okay. Chris, Griffiths now. I mean, the left hand side. It'll be another corner. Another corner to Celtic. Okay. 
Taking a quick forest now. Turnbull, Christy. Back out wide to Griffiths. It plays it. Well, Celtic throw on the far side. Ah, oh, God, here we go. Christy. Ayer. Go on, Ayer. Go on. Finds Griffiths. Oh, for God's sake, Griffiths. How can you get yourself offside? How? 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 How can you get yourself offside there, Griffiths, man? You should never be. Never. It's offside from that Falkirk player there. Celtic Turnbull to Brown. Brown does good footwork there to Rogic. Away to Kenny. Crossover. Forest. Oh, for. Oh, my days, man. We're absolutely. Uh, we can't shoot for anything, man. Like, we, we can. I mean, we can shoot, but we just can't get it on target. One shot on target. That was a great, good shot from Turnbull. That was it. That was it. I maybe the lax salt shot as well, but it wasn't really go it wasn't going on. Keeper was already getting it, always getting it. Brown over to Kenny heads back to Rogic. Rogic finds Forrest. Forrest finds oh, for God's sake, Christy, you had time, you had time, Christy, and you mess it up by that. Ayer will go back to Bain. I'm not surprised if it will be half now 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 at half time because we're creating chances but we're not get we're not getting the goal. We're not getting goals from it. Which is annoying because it's just boring to watch because then you gotta go back and forward and back and forward. Because Falker are sitting back. Really, they're just waiting that chance on the break. Turn ball. Over to Kenny. Forest. Cuts over. Griffiths, you've got two chances. That is two chances you've had, and how do you miss hit two chances? How? You get the wrong boots on or something? He's got the wrong boots on or something. He's got this. The, he's got the Phil Jones boots on. Salmon boots. Oh, I'm just saying that he doesn't. I don't think he actually has them on. He has, yeah, he's got green boots on. I was just saying like, oh, God Almighty. You're offside. For God's sake. We'll go for a Celtic throw in. Kenny Brown. Back to Kenny. What? Don't know what he's doing there. Chris Roger gets it. Back to Brown. Over to Christy out to Laxalt. Christy finds Laxalt. Oh my God. Oh, now Falker on the tie. This is the chance they wanted. But Christy does well. No, Turnbull, sorry, does well. Here comes Rogic. Come on. Forrest. Oh, someday. That's it. Forrest. It's blocked. And it'll go for a Celtic corner. Oh, my God, man. It's still goalless. How? How? And how? Forrest twists and turns, he shoots and it's blocked. It's, oh, why are we taking short corners again? It comes to nothing. We're better off doing the bloody a normal corner. Oh, Rogic. Rogic, good feet work. So has it. Ref says play on. Come on. Ayer. Oh, for God's sake. Oh, still bloody goes. 
We're playing well. Oh, remember we're playing well. Like if you're coming into the stream, you're saying, "Oh, for God's sake, um, Celtic are not playing well." We're playing well. We're just not getting a goal. <laughs> oh, we need a goal, man. Get a goal so I can just relax for a couple of minutes. Relax out when intersects, but to be blocking a bit of pocket for one. Oh, God Almighty, man. Oh, God. Yeah, I can't wait till Monday, guys, because the barbers are open. I'm booked in for half four, which is great. I need a trim. It doesn't look like a bit. Yeah, I do. Like my hair just. Ah, yep. Yeah, I do, man. Oh. Kenny. Go on, Rogic, go on. Rogic does well. Good footwork, Rogic. Over to Brown. Turnbull. Oh, that's a free kick. Yes, come on. Come on. It's a free kick. Stop complaining. You know you did it. Stop complaining. Turnbull will take it. David Turnbull will take this free kick. No one can no one can tell me different. No one can tell me different. Turnbull will take this free kick. It's a clear free kick. I don't know why the guy's complaining. It's a clear free kick. Turnbull will take it, he picks up the ball right away. Come on Turnbull, you can do it. I'm getting ready here. Oof, come on, come on Turnbull, come on. Come on Turnbull. It's perfect range for Turnbull as well, I'll tell you what. It's whether he goes low or he goes high. Or Griffiths. Doesn't look like, I would, 100% would like Turnbull take it but it, it, look, it looks Griffiths or Turnbull, but I would let Turnbull take it. Please let Turnbull take it. Please, for the love of God. Griffiths. Turnbull take it. Oh, it's just over. The bottom. And we've still not scored inside their eight minutes. Oh, it's just... Oh, I wasn't dipping. I just needed to dip, dip a bit more and it was going in, but... <sighs> ah, yep. Oh my god! No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Come on, Turnbull, go on. Chris Day. Pass it back. Oh, or not. Over to Brown now. Rogic. Out wide to Lax out. We'll not get a throw in, but it'll go back to Ayer. Over to Welsh. Kenny, away to Forrest. Oh, Christy, sorry. And go back to Kenny. It's five minutes to go to half time and we've still not scored. Here comes Ayer. Go on, Ayer, have a pop. Have a pop. Have a pop. How did you miss that? How did you miss that, Ayer? Oh, how did you miss that? Oh, my, it's so frustrating, man. We're playing brilliant. Like, we're obviously, it's Falkirk, but Ayer, brilliant run, and he bloody. I don't know what he's. He, he just messes up in the end. Oh. And it's still no goalless. Oh, we need our shooting boots on because we, I mean, we can, sh no, I mean, we don't need our shooting boots. We need our goal boots on. That's what we need. Goal boots. Because we, we can shoot, but we just can't score. Brown. I would say Christy, Roderick or Kenny will get an end of it. Kenny will. Never mind, he just lies in the ground. Never mind. Like I just sent him back to Everton with that. Now Falkirk on the attack. Don't let him go on the attack. Welsh, don't. Oh, good tackle. Good tackle. Good tackle. Good tackle. Good tackle from Christy. Good one. Iron out eight. Play on. Come on. Go on. Go on, Turnbull. Go on. I like to Forest or somebody. Forest. Make the advantage of us, Forest. Still has it for years. Oh my days. Have we got a curse or something? Can we not score? What absolutely what was in front of goal? That's 
to go challenge them, Christy. Brown heads back the way, you know, Wax out will get on the end of it. Hey! <laughs> Vulcan player just slid whoop later. <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Wax out. Oh, don't play this bloody nonsense. Don't do this, Celtic. That's it. That's it. Ah, you're now. Come on. Use that pace. Ah, you've got. I know you've got it, and you. Now it's to. Out wide to lack. No. Forest, sorry. Forest. Oh, it's blocked again. And it's cleared again. Wax out. Wax out. Good. Good. Actually, good. No, never mind from Wax out. Never mind. I thought you did well, Wax out, in the first place, but. I'll get end of the year and go back to B. Three minutes to go to half time, it's still Celtic nil, Falkirk nil. We're hopeless in front of the goal. We can get forward, we're controlling the game as you'd expect. We just can't score. So there's your there's your analysis of the first half. Oh, for God's sake. <sighs> Go and watch another second half of us. If we do, if nothing changes the second half, we'll be going to bloody penalties and never Oh we won't even score from penalties <laughs> if we go to penalties. Turnbull. Rogic. Go on, Rogic. Oh, you'll find Kenny. Can we get the breakthrough before half time? Oh, for, not with that, you can't. Eh? Not with that. Ball versus ball. Don't know, mind. It turned in. It was. It was a, That was. It was for that a minute ago, and then the guy just passed it on. So it was in that. Being out way to. Wax out, don't do any of this nonsense before half time, Celtic, please no. You're offside. No, no, I'm going to play anyway. Hey, where might you go? I don't see any added on time at the first half. Here comes Christie, I like to Kenny. Kenny. Christy. Someday. Oh, for God's sake, man. It'll be a Celtic throw in. We're absolutely pushing for a goal before half time here. Yeah. Good so far for Falkirk, if I say so myself, with the goal line. Score line. Turnbull. Griffiths. Has done nothing this game except from two miss hits, sitters and all that stuff this half year. That's all he's done really. Yeah. What the hell was that? I mean, we get the corner, but what the? What was that from? I don't know what that was, but we get away with it with a corner. So this will be the last action of the game. Don't take it quick, Turnbull. Don't. Yeah, that's it. All right, last piece of the action, the half time. Right, come on, Turnbull. With a cross, you cross in. It's Forest. How can you miss that? How? All you had to do was hit. I was even thinking of yourself. If I was there, I'd have headed it back in the net. I have put it on a plate for you in the heat, and it headed it right over. I don't know how, but there you go. Sums up your first half for you. Nil, 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 nil. But. <laughs> we've been absolutely hopeless in front of goal we can take shots but we just can't score that's your analysis for the first half right let's talk about the half time guys right let's talk about it right 
So, so we move, like, so we go back to the start of the game, and you know it's good tempo. We see it, but we have a few shots. Obviously, Griff is my start absolute sitter. It was a stuff off the training ground. You expect him to score, misses it from a short corner. Um, so my point still stands about short corners. Um, and then we went to that Turnbull chance that was before the corner. Um, it was a nice shot. I mean, the keeper was going to save it, but it was a good save. But it was a good shot in the end. Um, Turnbull, to be honest, Turnbull and I are best players so far in the, the half. I haven't seen anybody better than that. Maybe Forrest as well on the right hand side. Maybe pushing in the middle all over the part in the attacking half. But except from that, really, to be honest, there's been not much else. I mean, we just need to score. Like, the, how? Like, I don't know how we've not scored. It's just putting it in the back of the net. It's just how we've got fear of going to score or something. I don't know. Because we can brilliantly go forward. You know, the chances, your higher. That higher chance before a cup, like five minutes before half time, brilliantly runs forward. And um, he, Falkirk players were getting nowhere near him. And he straight takes a shot and it goes well wide to the target. You know, another chance there before half time, which was. It could have been a good goal to get before half time, but in the end we don't get it. So um could we see a difference in half time, maybe. Um I don't know. Maybe we can see a difference in the second half. I don't know. But hopefully we do because um that half was you know, we were brilliant, you know, but we're obviously controlling possession because it's folk at right, but um you know the thing about the thing about that though is because you're controlling possession, which is great in the first hand, right? But when you're missing the chances, you know, if you don't take your chances, well, you know, what happens if Falkirk have one chance, maybe in the second half and they score it, your chances have gone to the bin like that because if you don't take your chances, another um, the team against you like might well might well take their first chance against you. So um, that's just pretty much that. That summed up for you guys in the first half. Um, yeah, that has summed you up in the first half. I cut recording in because I was going down the stairs to get a snack, which should be chocolate brownie. So there you go. Right, I had my melon there, guys, just to point out. I had my fruit and my my apples earlier, so there you go. Um. If you want to go into statistics I don't, <laughs> um, of the game, um, Celtic have had 21 shots <laughs> um, compared to Falkirk's have had none. Celtic have had three shots on target. Falkirk have none, of course, right? If they've had no shots. Um, Celtic have had 83 possession compared to Falkirk's 17. Um, that's really the best stats you can get, really. Um, the best people so, I mean, you can't even see that here, but, yeah, at his half time, there hasn't been much to say about the game at all, really, we've had a chance, of course, but, bit of frustration in the half, so, yeah. One more trying, I think they're trying, but I'd like to see when they get the, the last 35 points. So we need to try when we're, we're in the last bit of, um, when we're about to, um, like, as we're moving forward, right, maybe it's not the best of goals, but just score, you know, get a goal, you know, because, um, you know, a goal's a goal in the end, you know, so, as I say, a goal, we can shoot, as I said, the stats prove it there, 21 shots, free on target, when you think about that, you know, you could have free on target, well, free on target, you could have been free now up, or you could look at the start of the shot, the shots, really, 21 shots, if they were all on target, you might have had a couple of goals, maybe two now, you have maybe just one, but, you know, you need to have them, you need to have them shots on target, or the shots on target, when the shots on target, um, like, um, oh, what's the word, can I get my mouth, uh, um, oh my god, I've just been, Oh my god, I was about to say something now. You need to like, uh, oh, what's good? Oh, 
that's it. Make the keeper work that. Make your keeper work a bit harder because really, except from that Turnbull shot, and maybe a couple of shots out further, you know, the higher shot was not on target. Make make the keeper work harder uh, because really we've not seen that the first half. Um, I would like to see that in the second half, maybe with Edward come on, or your Yeti maybe, or just someone. Oh yeah, 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 second half tonight, that stumble shot there. Yeah, that stuff of the, the training stuff, it's some turnbull to Griffiths, and Griffiths was an absolute sitter there. That, do you want to see more of that? But put it in the back of the net, or else, chances missed. Then, at the end of the day, if you lose, you go back to them chances and say, oh well, if we did score, well, look where it would have been. So that's what we have to do in the second half to get through in the next round. It's only third round, well. And the draw will be pro Monday night because um, that's the last game of the Scottish Cup. Um, that is um, Queen of South Hib, so. It was after that game, I think, anyway. Pretty sure, anyway. It's always televised anyway, the the draw, so I think it's on BBC, the Hibs game on uh, Monday, so if anyone's interested. So, this will go on YouTube, guys, yeah. 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 If you wonder why I'm not li live streaming it on YouTube, well, it's because um, I would if I, if I could, right, but YouTube doesn't want me to, like, I'm just, like, or well, Streamlabs, as I say, right, because... Um, I try to stream on um, YouTube, but it just says I'm not allowed to for apparently, and, it, and like you check it all out, and it's just all the rubbish in the end. So yeah. Anyway, main streamers just stream on uh, Twitch anyway. And, um, I'd love to stream on YouTube too. I, I really like to, but YouTube's just a pain in the bum. So yeah. They have it fixed. I, I've, I've not been copyrighted by anything. Like, um, my videos haven't been taken down or anything. So I don't see what's the problem, to be honest. Now, if you check like the reasons why maybe you're not allowed to live stream, like I've not done anything that wrong, so I don't see what what the reason is. So. If you ask me, like, what, that was a good question from chat there, if you're asking me what, like, um, what team I'd like out in the next round of force to get through, well, I would like to miss Rangers, I would like to miss Hibs, because I would expect them to beat Cove Rangers and also Hibs to beat Queen in the South, right? Maybe Dodge Dundee United, maybe, mm, I don't know, like, maybe, uh, Forfar, mm, Clyde, or, I don't know really, that's really it. Or St. Mar maybe or something like that, I don't know. But you can't really dodge that because Celtic this season have any, really, any team like Ross County and all that stuff, so you can't really, you know. I could say that, but, I don't know, previous seasons, but really this season you can't really judge on, on it. Well, Strike Nath coming out, Celtic players coming out of the tunnel. And Falkirk players as well. Everybody coming up the tunnel now, so <laughs> Come on Celtic, get a, get a goal in the second half at least. <laughs> My score prediction, um I think I forgot to say at the um the start of the stream is three 0 Celtic, but it's not more like it won't be, but I'll take I'll take a win. Turnbull will kick us off for the second half. Come on, sell it. Come on. Brown. Kenny. Plays a nice ball. Back to Griffiths. A good save. The keeper. Turnbull. And it goes falls to the keeper. And that was a early chance for the second half to get in front. That's more like it, Celtic. Get that. That's what I was talking about the half-time. Roderick, lovely. 
cuts the back. Griffith shoots a good save from the keepers, the legs, the keeper, but then it comes to the keeper. But that's a good chance for Celtic the early, early on in the second half. Blacks out. Brown. It's good, good strength from Brown. Very good strength. Christie plays a nice ball with Rogic. Does well. Nice feet from Rogic there. Out to Kenny, I want to say. Brown. Welsh. Over to Ayer. Back to Welsh. Brown. Over to. It goes back to the keeper and end. PlayStation on a second, guys, so we have a bit more light. Right, Cook of Blacks out. Turnbull. Here comes Rogic. Turnbull. Oh, it's a foul ref! Right on the edge of the, the penalty area. That'll be a free kick. Turnbull again, come on. Come on, Turnbull, you can do better this time, Turnbull, come on. It was Turnbull or Griffiths on this one. It's a clear foul there. Yeah, he sticks a leg out and doesn't get the ball. Turnbull or Griffiths, I'll say, on this one. Oh, I need the toilet, but... <laughs> oh, it's, right, it's a bit like that hip goal where um, Turnbull scored back in January against Tibbs at home. Right, come on, Turnbull, come on. I don't want to miss the... This free kick in case it goes in. It'll be Griffiths' shoot. Hits right in the middle of the wall. And it'll go out for a Celtic corner. So now I'm going. No, no. So I'll wait till the corner, right? <laughs> you know, the end of the corner, right? I mean, it's right, right at the wall, to be honest, from Griffiths there. Maybe it wasn't for Turnbull the end there. But Celtic ball a corner. I think it, it's Turnbull's going to take it. So. I'll wait until the corner's taken and I'll go. <laughs> and Turnbull crosses in. Brown. Oh. Rogic. Oh, well, no, okay, no free kick. Come on. Get a goal before it. Don't. Oh, let play on, play on. Turnbull, play on. Come on. Aya does well. Don't kick it out. Don't kick it out. If you kick it out, I swear, don't kick it out. Oh, for God. I mean, I don't like Christy with actually meant to. Okay, then, alright, okay. Forrest. Christy. Over to Welsh. Ayer. Does well there. Ayer. Griffiths. Oh, best Celtic corner. Right, I need to go. So there's a change for folk. So there you go. I didn't miss setting, so I don't see what it hurt with it or maybe a leg. I don't know. So 
that sub wall to be made now. And it's Dowd coming off for Keena. Um, and Celtic going to take this corner. It'll be Lee Griffiths to take it. Crossover. Oh. Heads on from Turnbull Brown. Griffiths. Turnbull. Griffiths. Rogic. Oh, it's still blocked. Oh, we just can't score. And here comes. Oh, God, no. No. No, 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 I declare no. Please no. Oh my god, man. Thank God for John Joe Kenny here, man. Oof. Oh, never mind, Kenny. Just get away. Back to Falkirk. No one. No bother. But Welsh does well to get... Well, Welsh, I don't know. It's I that gets it back and I are now running now. Come on. There's something. I don't go back the way. Don't go back. Don't go back. <laughs> It's frustrating when you go back, man. Like go forward, you make that, you make the run, and you decide to go, you decide to go back the way. Here comes Lax out now. Plays ball through to Christie. Ah, oh, it's blocked again. And now we got another Celtic. Oh, Celtic was that a throw in or a corner? Now we got Celtic corner. Why are you taking? We just switch. Oh, because it's taking short. What? What the? What was that? That was the one of the worst free the corners I've seen in the history of football. Ryan Christie. No wonder you. No wonder, man. Like, oh my days, man. What? Well, who's letting Christie take the corners, eh? He's absolutely rubbish. Forest. Oh, miss heads it apparently. Okay then. Fuck it, have it. Flags out, Brown. Oh, give us a goal, Celtic, would you? Brown out wide to Kenny. Crossover straight to the Falkirk players. There's no point. And Bain over to Ayer. Eh, Welsh, sorry. Brown over to Kenny and Griffiths. Oh my god, man, we're absolutely. Oh. I mean, fair play to Falkirk for just getting it out there and then, but we need to just get, oh, just get a goal. That's all we want. Yeah, the question still is how we still done while they go inside here? Yeah. Um, you might say it's on might say of course obviously um Falker will defend well or we just can't score. That that that's probably the reason why. That's your that's Celtic's dino dose diagnosis for tonight's game. We've played well but we just can't score. Ayers making oh my god, Ayers making one of those godly runs. Here goes Forrest. Why didn't you have a pop at it, Forrest? I don't know why you never done that. Because Falkirk players were well ahead of Griffiths there. He wouldn't get into it. Turnbull. Over to Ayer. Brown. Max out. Oh, God almighty. Turnbull. Welsh. Kenny, for God's sake, man. No, thank you, Brown. Thank you. Thank you, Scott Brown. You win the battle of the balls. Here comes Rogic now, striding, and he's brilliant. Rogic, hit it. Oh, my God, he hits the bloody Falkirk player. I don't believe it. Oh, my bloody days, man. Turnbull. Rogic, hit it! Why didn't you hit it? Forrest! Yes, it's a goal! James Forrest on his return. Sit down, Falkirk. Finally, we get the deadlock broken. It's James Forrest. I don't care what weight goes in. It's a goal. 
I'll take luck as we go, man. Lovely strike, I tell you what. He takes out the, the, the two deflections, or maybe off the one of the head, the back of the head of Falkirk player, and obviously the goalkeeper's glove. Um, that's 56 minutes. James already scored, so. Oh, right, now Falk with the throw in. We now have a goal, which is great. Here comes Falk right now. Good tackle from James Forrest, the goal scorer. Here comes Turnbull now. Plays a nice ball to Christy Kenny and to Rogic. Good feet, that's a good tackle, I'll tell you what, good tackle. Laxer wins it back though. He plays it back to Brown. Over to Christy White to Kenny. Back to uh, Welsh. Over to Christopher Ayer. Brown. Welsh. Kenny now. And he Turnbull, oh, <laughs> what a strike from Ryan Christie, I tell you what, wow, what a strike, Ryan Christie, my man, Ryan Christie, I think seals the game, let's go, Ryan Christie, I mean, <laughs> yeah, let's go, Ryan Christie, brilliantly, absolutely brilliant, and he makes no mistake. Absolutely brilliant from Ryan Christie. It's a good strike, I tell you what, I'll give him that one, just, uh, Ryan Christie. Finally, a shot in target for Ryan Christie. Ryan Christie scoring. Scored a great goal for Scotland. Similar to that. But in this game, of late, it hasn't been at that same level. So, I'm pretty sure, even though he's unhappy with the number of chances he's missed, he won't be delighted with that goal because that was a very, very good goal. It almost just backs up what we were saying about the first half, but if you continually give top class players free shots from the edge of the box, eventually it's going to click. What a goal, I thought it would hit the side netting, but there you go. So that's game done and dusted, I'll tell you what, that's game done and dusted. This season has taken well, now my goal, sco now my goal prediction, my score prediction might actually come true because it's two 0 Celtic and there's still plenty of time for another one. Still plenty of time for another one, guys. When you're playing the game and you're defending, you're hanging on, you can see the first goal. I yeah, I changed my top guys as well. If you notice, because it's spawned just on it, so I need to run. I need to do that next day after the stream. Here comes Celtic again. Lacks out. Good save. That was a good save from the keeper. I think it was deflected though. Could have been free. We've changed the second half. You can actually score goals, guys. Now. <laughs> you can actually score. The curse has been lifted. Over to Welsh. Welsh plays a nice ball to. Ryan Christie now, Celtic on the attack again, Ryan Christie, find, oh, I couldn't find Rogic in the end, and Falkirk have it back. Falkirk play up the park, oh god, Ayer, 
finds Kenny to Griffiths now. Griffiths plays a nice ball over to Turnbull. Out wide to Forrest. Forrest. Oh, no, we're out for a throw on the far side. And that's good play though from Celtic again, passing again, good play. Looks well, like there's going to be a change, yeah? Change? No, Blackstar will take the front, yep. Yep, the change, it's Albina Yeti coming on for Lee Griffiths, yeah? Yeah, Lee Griffiths, frustrating game for him, but, you know, he's, he's, he's been, you know, I've seen he's had a decent game, to be fair, you know, I'd probably give him a solid 7 out of 10, you know, we've missed them chance in the first half, but now it doesn't matter, we win 2-0. Uh, now we get to see what a Yeti does now, Rax out, back to Turnbull, over to Brown, Welsh, Brown, Brown to Turnbull, Forrest, Forrest. Rogic now, Rogic. oh good feet from Rogic, stop, stop has it Rogic, Turnbull, Brown, have a pop Brown, why not, Brown, oh, thought Brown was going to have a shot, he was going to have a shot but it blocked, could have been Brown, one of the good goals from Brown too, it's good play from Celtic again, crossover, I, oh, I don't know that was Forrest it was, but the keeper gets the end up in the end. 62 minutes played, it's still, it's Celtic 2, Falkirk 0. Nico was completely a little bit hard done, but I think tonight he was looking sharp. Of yeah, I can do with the comp here. He was very, really looking yeah, sharp, very sharp. He was looking very good to be honest, yeah. He's trying to get back to where he wants to get, so he probably needs a little bit more than an hour in the game. I'm surprised John Kennedy hasn't let him play a little bit longer. Even just put another striker on and go with two centre forwards, but... Totally from it. I over to Welsh. I've got to be honest, like say that that sharpness was lacking from Lee Griffiths, there's no doubt about it. Does he need more game time? And I work, you can clearly see how disappointed he is because he's had so many good chances that he would I are now striding forward now, that's what we see with Ayer. Brilliant, look at him, he's still going. I are still going. Oh, I nearly set up a good chance there, it was unlucky. Fox could have it now. Missing more games. Lax out as well to walk it. No, we'll still walk it for him. But he will be disappointed because a striker of his calibre, the chances he's had, he would be expected to be on the score chart. So Kai Fotheringham, the 17 year old, comes off and he's replaced Another sub by for Charlie Telford. Falkirk. Alston is also on to replace Robbie Leach in the midfield. Just on the flip side of that, Lee this one, there's only six or seven games left of the season, possibly, you know, so that's where his frustration comes from. He knows there's not a lot of long, uh, sorry, a lot so, of time left, but the game's left, so... You can fork it now. It'll go all the way back to Bain. Bain, Bain. I think those subs from Falkirk is just to put a little bit of experience in the middle of the pitch. You know, Blair Alston and Charlie Telford, good footballers, should look after the ball a little bit better, allows Falkirk to get themselves up the pitch. I think they've switched their back four, possibly. At the time, Scott Mercer is coming out as a right back. King Francis is playing a little bit narrow at times, so they just have to be better with the ball. You know, a goal at any stage suddenly brings them back into it. Yeah, they are. This is eight changes. Falkirk front, yeah, Falkirk. Yeah. They've got a huge game oh, away at Airdrie on a Tuesday before hosting Clyde. Aye or no? Laxal. Laxal boots up the park. Elite clearance. Not too far away from a Yeti. So when you see. And John Kenny like discussing things with Steve McMahon. Yeah, I mean, he's a real athletic player, isn't he? Here comes Celtic oh, again. Turnbull. It's Turnbull now. Oh, good save. Forrest. How's he miss that? Wow. Much with the important save, Forrest couldn't quite convert the rebound. Wow. Full flow now. It's a lovely, a lovely yeah. play again from Celtic. Yeah. Uh, Roger to Turnbull, Turnbull in the half, three volley, good save from the keeper in Forrest, I don't know how he misses it. This is not easy, on the run, flicking it up and having the volley. Yeah, you can see again, James Forrest really should be finding the bottom corner. And he makes the goalkeeper work. 
That's what I said they should have done at half time. And they've done they've proved my point now in this the second half. They've made the keeper work harder. And we've got the goals. Because the keeper can't really do anything about them. Now if we get to Falkirk from the Lax out there. Half where he's driving through. I think it was Miller who was right on top of him. The ball's behind him and he gets the strike from behind. He gets blocked in the end, but it's going on target. He's he really is a top talent. Well Falkirk haven't had too many opportunities for situations like this. There was one in the first half which they managed to get into the box. Let's see what you and Devaney can do with this one. Looked in towards cleared. Nielsen, but it went Roger the now. Bush. Pass it, pass it. Now Kenny. Now be a Falker thrown. Do you know what? They're just epitomise the spot work, isn't it? The work ethic and the you know the energy they've had to put in just to try and stop John Kennedy Celtic. You know they've been rampant and moving it well, but Connor Salmon once again chasing back, matching runs. 34 years of age, he certainly hasn't lost his appetite for the game. It's great to see. Oh, that's, a, that's a free kick, ref. That's a free kick. No? Okay then. But still to have a back iron out. Forest. Over to. Rogic. Oh, nearly, nearly found. Uh, Rogic. Christie. Laxal. Brown. Christie. Christie. Ayer. Ayer again. Welsh. Welsh. Over to Christie. Ryan Christie. Albion Ayeti. Ayeti. Can he get the goal on the goal sheet tonight? I don't know what he can with that sort of thing, but. Gary Miller steps in. Let's teleport back to McFly. I'll do a play for a Celtic front. Severe pressure. Goes in the error. I think actually Kyle McLeod on loan from Rangers. For Craig Mulholland, the Rangers head of Academy, it's just along beside us. Real big learning curve for him tonight, just to see where he has to get to in his career. Next level up and playing against the quality of Celtic, the movement, the passing. Really good experience. Roger now. Roger to Christie. Christie shoots again and it's well white. Do you know what I mentioned? The stick that he takes from his own supporters for having shots from distance. Falkirk's Twitter account. In 17 minutes, Ryan Christie shoots from range and, well, you know, nil nil. <laughs> so I think he got his revenge on that. That's one. a good one. But yeah, he did get his range by his was a good goal, good good be shot, but um that's normal from Ryan Christie that. That'll be a Falkirk score. Karma. Don't you? Karma Falkirk Somebody tells him I'm sure he's fine, he probably has. Yeah, without even knowing. I mean, tonight when he goes home, he'll have a little rice and ivy himself. That'll teach you. I mean, I was saying to myself, why well, was, you know, so yeah. But. Welsh. Welsh. Into the sky. Falkirk have it now. I feel like Falkirk scored at the back of the game, which is not good. We don't want Falkirk to score, that's what I mean. Forest. Forest. Turnbull for Christie. Turn. Uh, Christie. Brown. Twenty minutes to play. Celtic two. Falkirk no. Turnbull again. A yeti trapped into the ball. Brown. Brown. Finds Forest to uh, so Turnbull. All evening, James Forrest. Lax out. Celtic fans will love seeing him back in the hoops. Yeah, I would agree on that one with the commentator. Good to see Forrest back. You know, probably going to play a full game. Kenny now to Rogic. 
Rogic, good, still good feet. Rogic, Forrest, oh, it's blocked and it will go out for a Celtic throw in. Tom Rogic has done the same move about six times in the game and everybody has fell for it. Chops to his right, chops back to his left, and then defenders come out of the circle. It's incredible talent. Uh, Ismar Soro is going to come on for for Tom Rogic, who's been excellent tonight, got to agree. The oh, team's been excellent tonight, to be honest. Can't really fault anybody, especially in second half now. Oh, um, the whole team's been really good, and it's Ismar Soro now, the youngster, now coming on for Rogic. Opinion, what do you think? Splits opinion in regards to that. Well, just some people love him, some people get frustrated with him. I think you can get a straight with Tom Rogic. He's, he's somebody you know what the type of player Axel with the throw in. Brown. Axel Axel. A couple of years ago when he was undroppable. Very seldom did he manage to play 90 minutes. Axel. Out for a Falkirk throw in. I think everybody recognises that. Frustration? I'm not sure. I think when he plays games, he invariably has an impact on it. You just can't expect them to play every week or twice a week and play 90 minutes. He's just not that athletic type of player. But when it comes to in and around the edge of the box, he can turn on a sixpence. He's got vision that uh, can split open defences. Perhaps that, you know, in the last couple of years, just that, that, that X factor, that final piece of the jigsaw Bain, for him in terms of well. assists have not been to the same level as uh, he's had historically here at Celtic. There's no doubt that he's still somebody that's a, a huge talent. Of course, he was very nearly away in the summer window from the club, but did in the end remain. So, Christy. Sorrow. Sorrow does well there, but Connor Salmon gets it off and not. Francis loses out to Laxal. Laxal. Snap into action again. Tisti over to. I haven't been able to retain the ball long enough Kenny. for spells tonight. They get themselves up the pitch, they do well, they work hard to get the ball back. Kenny. Two passes that's given away again. If you're not good with the ball over again, to Celtic, they just simply take it off and have another attack. Ball could get clear. Read by Devaney. Celtic will be making another change. That'll be James Forrest to coming off for Celtic now. He's been at the beam. Great to see him back in the Celtic shot. And also a wee debut goal back in the Celtic shot as well. That lovely opener for Celtic. And uh, he's replaced by number 27, Mohamed El Yunus. So that's the changes for Celtic there. The pitch you can entertain, can take men on, or dynamic. Really enjoy playing football. James Forrest, I just thought tonight was a real breath of fresh air. I don't know Celtic's problems throughout the season weren't just because James Forrest was missing. However, if he had been available, I think Celtic would have been a completely different animal. Brown steps away from the keen up. Yeah, you He's had a productive season with 14 goals as second. Kenny does well to turn ball back to Kenny. Kenny will, might have a pop, no, he doesn't, and he takes too long. Falk will have it back. It's Francis. Brown. Scott Brown. Sorrow. Not too often you see both Brown and Sorrow on the pitch at the same Sisty. time. Welsh. Christie. To the smile of Sorrow. Welsh to Christie. Ayer. League game is at home to Livingston. Brown. Turnbull. Waxel. Now you know say. Shoots and it's well over an end. Too far away, but good play again from Celtic there. You know, I think 
he needs to put as much power into that early initially. You know, the goals opened up for him. Remember his goal away to Lille, when he just guided the ball into the far post. It needed a similar type of finish. Execution, just tried to whip it too much and gathered pace and height and over the bar. We spoke about Celtic quite a lot because they've been very impressive. But you've got to say credit to Volker. You know, they've kept themselves in the game. They've yeah. stuck at it. You know, kept themselves in the game until about 10 minutes into the second half, they yeah. Them. They tried to meet them head on, but sometimes you come up against the side who are just streets ahead of you and they force you back. They force you to give the ball away. That's exactly what's happened tonight. And their priorities are elsewhere. It's a massive few weeks for them in, in the context, not just of their season, but as a club. David McCracken and they made eight changes Brown. in this game. Their priority is elsewhere. Thanks, Paul White, to John Joe Kenny. Yep, we'll so get it. Looking at this game, you'll see plenty of positives to be taken from it. You know, if it stays 2 0, then you know, with a, a young team Brown. against the side, the dominated the ball, they will be fairly happy with that and take the positives. Sorrow, Turnbull, the desire to run Brown. and shut people down. Matt make sure that there was a gap, your teammate goes and Brown. plays it for you. Those are all good, positive things for the co-managers to take from this game. And, and, we know, say, and it's useful for the, the rest of the campaign. Oh, it's Sorrow, back to Ayer. And a few players have shown that and it's they can make their way into the first team if required in this very congested spell of final few fixtures in the League One campaign. I think one of the learning curves will be for Falkirk when you play against good opposition, you switch off for a couple of minutes, the game can disappear. Albeit they rode their luck, but at the moment in the game, when they were still in it, oh. they switch off in two moments of following when James Forrest and Ryan yeah, first played well. Played well. Max out with the throw. Well, the second half anyway, with the have had two goals. Nimzel in this seat. Welsh. Manchester United will win the week. They might win the, the Europa League, I'll tell you what. Oh, that's a wonderful, oh. wonderful finish from what a goal from Mohamed El Yunusi. Wow, what a goal. Mohamed El Yunusi, I tell you what. Some strike. And it's Celtic 3. Falkirk now have predicted a score. And it's a lovely, lovely finish from. Look at that. That's lovely first touch, lovely second touch, and this is a wonderful first touch, an even better second, an exquisite touch to just knock it over the goalkeeper as he comes rushing out. It's a lovely touch, and then he knocks it over the keeper, and then so it's Celtic free. Falkirk nil. The first touch could have gone under his foot or bounced away from him. That's when you know he's a top quality finisher. It's all about the composure, all about the soft touch that allows him to lift it over. He can feel a little bit hard done by the goals he scored this season, but possibly the minutes he's played the last number of games, but there's absolutely no doubt he really is a top-class finisher. Just a little reminder of John Kennedy, and that's what I can do. Well, he's another that has just come back from international duty. He did set up the winner away at Montenegro on Tuesday for Alexander Sorloff for... Norway, so maybe just given a bit of a rest and score against Rangers here as well. So he's in a so run of form, Mohamed El Yunusi, and as you say, Stephen, that's 15 goals, that's a, a decent return for the Southampton Loney. So that's Celtic 3 now up. It's Kenny. No. Missed out a Yeti, almost came for El Yunusi. Polker desperately trying to get their lines clear, which they do eventually through Devaney. Yeah, they really are starting to tire Falkirk. And you expected that, even though they may be full-time, but they don't play at this tempo every week. You've got to say, so, they like haven't played at this tempo for a long time. Yeah, I'd agree in that one as well. <laughs> But it's been a good good night for Celtic. Ten minutes to play Celtic three Falkirk nil. That good goal there from Elliot. Here comes Elliot again. Elliot see it across the goal for John Joe Kenny. It's blocked and it's cleared. Then 
who's Welsh now to Brown. Christie over to Ayer. Out to El Yunus on the left hand side. El Yunus in out. We go back to Laxalt. Ayer over to Sorrow. Sorrow plays it to Brown. Brown. Ayer. Now to Brown, uh, Turnbull, sorry. Turnbull. El Yunus to Brown. Brown. Brown will drive on now. He's got Brown. Brown a Yeti. A Yeti. Oh, that'll be a free kick to him for it. Oh, Oh, a very good player from Scott Brown. So that was like that free kick there. But good thing for Celtic in the end, of course, you get three goals in the second half, which is probably everybody expected. But fair play to Falkirk, they had it on until ten minutes in the second half, and then Celtic really just got in their stride in the end. With the goals. You wonder if one day he'll be back here in the dugout orchestrating things. John Kennedy. Axel. For now. Ayer over to Welsh. It must be hard for an interim manager when out to John John Kenny now. And to Turnbull. This is a good play again. Turnbull. Back to Sorrow. Brown. With the speed at which you play that time, Lax out. A Yeti. Oh, I just couldn't get the shot away. A Yeti now. Still has it. Finds. Turnbull. He turns, he shoots, it's blocked. A Yeti. It's cleared. And it will fall to a Falkirk player, but it will go up play for a Celtic throw in. They took their time to break this Falkirk side down, but the second half they've come out with real intent, Celtic. And made sure that they've got the job done. Yeah, I think Celtic have played in many games when they've went this way. The teams have sat back and they've had to break the resilience. Once you break the resilience, the game Max all opens up for you. That's Finds exactly it. Elinus in a bit of space. Elinus over to his mouth, Sorrow. Sorrow into Brown. Elinus to Turnbull. Back in the nose. Elinus I was going to say, just try to do a wee fancy flick there, but it was blocked. Brown, have a shot, Brown. No, he doesn't. Oh, plays a nice ball through. Oh, it's a lovely ball from Scott Brown to John Joe Kenny. Just, Kenny just can't get the shot away. And he keeps coming out in the end. Since John Joe Kenny's come to Celtic, he's brought a bit of balance. Comes off his hand, but I mean, look. Spoken enough about the ludicrous handball. John Joe Kennedy, he's brought balance to the Celtic side. He's yeah, that one as well. He's brought that balance to that right hand side. Really, really well and, and driving forward as well. And defending, of course, as well. Really good as well. Mohammed Brown, injuries. nice ball out way to Kenny. Will he get there, Kenny? He will. He makes a tap one. He puts a wee bit of tap one. It will be a Falkirk throw in, though, but at least he goes in it. Yeah, at least he goes in for it, though. Better balance to the team. Not through anything spectacular, but just doing his job consistently without making many mistakes. He just had to be careful there, and he was actually very calm under pressure from Turnbull and El Yunusi. Ah, he wins it back to Brown. Brown does very footwork there. Couldn't get it, Sorrow on the end. Sorrow heads on to Christie. Yeah, to, to Christie to Turnbull. 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 Finds a Yeti! Oh! He's gone just wide. I just wide. Got a touch. Well, knows the decision. Oh, that was a very good play from Turnbull and in, into a Yeti. No and a Yeti very close to scoring to make it four. That was very unlucky. Just wide of the target there. Just unlucky not to squeeze into that back post there. Very unlucky. Just very unlucky. Dragging it wide there. I think Robbie Much has got it covered though. 
good move from Ayeti. Good offer to running behind there. When you have players five minutes back, to play, Celtic three, Falkirk nil. Must be great as a centre forward. You know you can make those little diagonals. They're going from Ayer. Falkirk have it though. And then you, you get your through to the next round in the Scottish Cup, which is great, you know. It'll be a one positive at the end of the season if you do win the Scottish Cup, depending on probably where you draw an end. You turn the box and it gets it clear. Complete the clearance. Falkirk have it though. Through the next round in the meantime, we do. Three good goals. Solid performance in the end. Missed good chance in this, the first half, but proved my point in the second half where you need to work the keeper a bit harder than we did. And we proved uh, we made the keeper work harder by we scored. So there you go. Francis looks for the return. Ayer kicks it clear. Ayeti chests it down well. Good well footwork from Ayeti. And he goes to Welsh. Ayer. Brown. Ayer it'll Brown. just pass now around. Just to, you know, see that clock tick so down. You ahead of this game that this was Celtic's last chance for silver work. And I think everyone wanted to see Out performance to that reflected that. John Joe Kenny. Crossover, finds Turnbull, oh, deflected and then... Nielsen did just enough to put him off. I think that's exactly it, Rory. Just at the last second when he goes to take the strike, Nielsen gets in his face. Nice pick out there. Yeah, good pick out there, but unlucky. Yep. Just from Turnbull, Aya heads on very well in defence nice from both the defence uh, and uh, Aya and Welsh tonight. Thought they were very good. I say very good, you know, they were probably. Aya's probably the better one, but Welsh did solid. So did really everybody, you know, you can't really fault. That's a good full time, but went it back on Turnbull. Brown! I liked it. Back to Brown! Brown! Oh! The goalkeeper, that is spoil it. Oh! That was no brilliant from Brown there. From much. And it's a oh, I thought he scored. Oh, I thought Brown scored. He was a very good player from Celtic. Yeah. From Brown, especially. A busy evening for Robbie Mutch. He's got himself proud. Some excellent saves to the score line down, particularly in this second half. And one minute to play, plus any added on time at the end of the game. Celtic one in um, Celtic three, Falkirk in the middle. And it'll be a Celtic Kina. front. Good strength there from Welsh. Final minute of play, and the intention is to have any additional time despite however many substitutions and goals we've had in this second half. Okay, that's good. Turnbull plays it to a Aya to Sorrow. Pardon, but certainly got all the answers. Nice ball to Lax out. Uh, yeah, um, El Yunusi. Plays a nice ball with Turnbull. Turnbull. Oh, Ooh, nearly got through there, actually. Ah, it's over! Oh, I thought it was over, actually. <laughs> the referee just blew for offside now. Uh, ah, it's over! Ah, it's Celtic Park. It ends Celtic 3. And Celtic 3. Um, Falkirk now. Celtic comfortably through the next round of the Scottish Cup, guys. Um, thanks for watching on YouTube. Please just game like.